a child is a born entrepreneur what if we say a child is a born problem solver a child is encircled with curiosity creativity innovation and problem solving beat by playing a game of football or building and flying a paper aeroplane watch it a child is even a good negotiator and a deal maker he knows how to convince his parents for his cartoon time and video games on a diogri on a omg my twin brother on a is missing Folks, did you see him? He was around just a moment back. <laughs> Here, Beer, I was on a time machine about two thirty-five million years ago, and a T-Rex was chasing the hell out of me. Here, Ne, are you all right? Don't worry, Beer. I was just testing a product in the metaverse. Yes, in the metaverse. What if I told you this is our second startup, Imburs, which is on a mission to immortalize humans across eras. Even we can make time travel possible and take you to, let's say, the Jurassic Age. You can meet the dinosaurs up close and personal, just the way I did. Namaskar and good evening. I am Abhi Ramakrishnan, and here is my twin brother and co-founder, Anay Ramakrishnan. <laughs> William Wordsworth once famously once famously said, a, "A child is the father of a man." Today we are here to paraphrase this: "The child is the father of an entrepreneur." Children are always bubbling with ideas. Their ideas often come from all sides, left, right, and center. Am I right? Sometimes their ideas look out of the world, not just out of the box. You might find some of our ideas outright hilarious, like creating a mother and a father robot who could replace a parent at office, so that a real mother and father the fun with the kids. Our stint in entrepreneurship. I started in the spring of 2017 when we were just three. We sold a healthy snack made out of lotus seeds. We named it Pop Corn. Perhaps that's when we were bitten by an entrepreneurial bug. Look at the sheer happiness a small wins folks the journey is important than the destination our next idea was born during covid times we made frugal covid bed using cardboard it was super easy to install anytime anywhere However, we had no clue in terms of converting these ideas into a product or a solution. Something orbit shifting happened when we turned seven. My co-founder Anne and I had been to a week-long camp. The camp had only basic facilities like food and shelter. Few of the participants in our camp were from open age. They were living with modest means. In their day-to-day -day lives, they were deprived of basic amenities like food, clothes, books, to name a few. It moved us deeply. We wanted to do something about it. For the next few weeks, we were insanely focused on building a platform and a marketplace where donors and beneficiaries can connect together just by a click of a button. Happy to share. We have already benefited. Twenty-five thousand underprivileged children reduced more than half a million kgs of carbon footprint. While all this was happening, something awesome happened in our life last year. We successfully completed mini MBA in entrepreneurship from Tyslick and Valley, and it was a child's play. You want to know how? 
Banana, why don't you share that story? Yes, so the professors were from Ivy League schools like UC Berkeley and Harvard to name a few. We were super surprised by what we learned in our mini MBA. They said an entrepreneur should be curious and curiosity is the key to innovation. Aren't we children naturally curious? Aren't they the most curious beings on the earth? Don't we children buggy folks with a bunch of questions all the time? They said an entrepreneur should be insanely focused on building a product. I asked my brother, isn't that what he keep on doing? Building structures, using Lego, nothing else matters. We even skip food and sleep. They said an entrepreneur feels fast, feels cheap and celebrates failures. We said children learn a lot from failures, whether it's falling off the bicycle and getting back on. They said an entrepreneur should take risks. You will all agree. If a child wants to say something, it means now, not later. They said an entrepreneur should have a great sense of urgency. And finally, they said to be happy. The journey is important than the destination. That is precisely how a child leads every moment of his life always happy. Don't you think so, folks? That pretty much sums up why a child is the father of an entrepreneur. Every child is an entrepreneur with the support, mentoring and encouragement. Together, we can make India the number one startup and innovation nation in the world. Earlier this month, India became the most populous country. Entrepreneurship is the most powerful tool to convert this demographic disaster into a demographic dividend. We need more job givers than job seekers. Thank you all for being such a lovely and engaging audience. We seek your blessings with folded hands.